Okay, I mean, I don't know how long this is going to be or anything to that nature. Probably not going to be all that long at all. I just wanted to record something to pretty much give a message out to what I think and the way I feel about something. And that something is the thing going on with Fallout 76 and the new premium service, you know, that they're launching out for people. And my message is very simple. It's pretty much the same way everybody else feels about it. But I got the little added on freaking feature of, yeah, I think it's freaking shit just like everybody else does. And I think that anybody who freaking buys into it is a fucking moron. Because it's just like, I'm sorry, but I can't personally see how the hell you freaking believe in the light after freaking how many times have you been lied to over and over and over again. It's just beyond me. I mean, I never bought Fallout 76 and I, I, I don't think I'll ever freaking buy another freaking uh, Bethesda product. And I'll tell any company or publisher that's with them or, you, or any game developer that's using them as a publisher to get away from them because they're going to destroy you. They're going to bring you down hardcore. Because now, as it is, from a standpoint of my view, I'm not buying anything that's got Podesta's name written onto it. And I'm also getting tired of fucking buying crap. Spending 60 fucking dollars on broken freaking, you know, games that don't even work. So, yeah, I mean, you take that what you will, people can get mad at me. But the, the, the Podesta fanboys come in and want to start making comments or whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> and you can be like, well, you never played it. Yeah. And I'm glad I didn't. Like, I was actually going to buy it day one when it came out, but I don't know. I guess you could say my spider senses were tingling all about it, and it was just like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't freaking buy it. Because I've seen a lot of the stuff, and even on PC, and it's just, just like, oh, no. And then I guess I could also go back into a lot of these life service model games to where it's like, dude, look, how many life service model games need to come out before people start to realize, you know, these companies don't give a shit. I mean, hell, Anthem was the same fucking way. EA didn't really give a shit about making a good, you know, working game. No, they really gave a shit about the microtransactions, and that's one of the reasons why that game I had it was up to, like, 60 gigs by, by the first week it was out. And even in freaking 60 gigabytes, they couldn't fucking fix half the damn freaking things that were wrong with it. And I've heard Fallout 76 was the same fucking way. Like, did numerous large ass updates and couldn't even get it fixed. So there's my final word. Fuck my death stuff. Fuck Fallout 76. And I, if I were you, I wouldn't buy another one of their products until they fix their fucking shit. Which I don't think they're going to.